Hello, um, we are kind of back. We didn't have the greatest reception hiking the last few days, and now we're staying at a um, motel. some hotel, <laughs> resting up a little. We're gonna do noonday prayer today, um, and uh, and so you can find that in your hymnals if you like, or on your handy little sheets of paper like what we're bringing with us. So we'll go ahead and begin. Begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Amen. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and He hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, we're going to have our reading from, at least on the sheet, one of the readings suggests Luke, tw uh, Luke 23, 23, verse 44 through 46. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, the death of Jesus. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light, while the sun's light faded, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then... Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having sa said this, he breathed his last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I think on the trail, we I don't know if we felt like what Jesus went through, but um, it was yesterday we did 18 miles, and it was kind of tough. Um, although a lot of it was downhill, but it was it was still kind of, kind of difficult your your bones creak but um it certainly is a those times of pain is a great reminder of what our lord jesus has done for us and um how much he loves us and what he's willing to go through for the whole world and so uh, uh a good reminder for us i think uh, we're gonna continue with our curie and the, then the lord's prayer and then uh just general prayers so we pray O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, be with all who are traveling over this uh, July 4th uh, holiday and keep them safe. And with the recent news of the governor there in Kansas, uh, we just ask you, Lord, that you would um, continue to keep people's spirits up and not get downtrodden and and Oh, just all those words that describe uh, being frustrated um, with uh, this COVID-19 and the response to that. Uh, Lord, let us look to you for um, our trust and our, uh, our, our direction. And blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. And that all people of the earth may look to you and see their salvation. For your mercy's sake we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. That's oh, all. That's it. <laughs> uh, Lord be with you all today. Uh, there's an example of noonday prayer. And may you all have a great weekend. Um, if we don't see, it's because... We have no reception. Uh, reception's yeah. really bad here. Okay, thank you. <laughs>